In this short video, you'll find out everything you need to know to get your Totally Wicked Scope Air e-cigarette set up and ready to use. So first, remove the outer packaging and open the box to find one Scope Air battery, one Scope Air pod, two EN 0.8 ohm atomizer heads, a USB-C charging lead and a manual. First of all, you'll need to prime the atomizer. To do this, take one atomizer out of the packaging and put a few drops of e-liquid onto the cotton and mesh material. Then insert the atomizer head into the pod. Now the EN atomizer heads use a push fit connection, so simply press the atomizer into the hole and add a small amount of pressure to keep it in place. It's important to make sure that the atomizer head is aligned with the hole correctly. The straight edge of the atomizer should match the straight edge of the hole. Next you'll need to fill your scope air pod with e-liquid. There's a rubber stopper on the side of the pod which you should undo to reveal the filling hole. Then just squeeze some e-liquid into the hole. Reseal the hole with the rubber stopper and then slot the pod into the battery. You should leave the filled pod for 4-5 to five minutes to allow the e-liquid to saturate the cotton. Now this will reduce the risk of the atomizer burning prematurely. This only needs to be done on your first fill with a brand new atomizer and not for subsequent refills. Now whenever your e-liquid level is low, remove the pod from the battery and refill in the same way you did initially. To turn the scope air on, quickly click the power button 5 times and then it's ready to use. There are two ways of using the scope air. You can either just inhale on the mouthpiece and the kit will automatically activate, or you can hold the button down while you inhale if you prefer. The kit can be turned off with 5 quick clicks of the power button so it doesn't activate accidentally during transportation. The automatic draw will also only work when the device is switched on. The kit should already be partly charged and ready to use out of the box, but when you do need to recharge, do so using the USB-C cable provided. You should always use either a specific e-cigarette wall plug or plug the cable directly into a USB port on a laptop when charging your kit. The kit features USB-C quick charge technology, so it will fully recharge in less than 30 minutes when you use a suitable wall plug. Your remaining battery life is indicated by the LED colour behind the power button. Green for 60 to 100%, blue for 20 to 59%, and red for less than 20%. There are two airflow settings on the scope air, and these are set by simply rotating the pod 180 degrees. When the hole at the base of the pod is on the same side as the hole on the side of the device, you'll experience a slightly airier draw than the other way around. Another handy feature of the scope air is smart coil protection. This technology means that the device will not activate when there is no e-liquid in the pod. This is important as it stops the atomizer head from burning out prematurely. However, the atomizer head will still naturally reach the end of its life and need changing periodically. You will know when your atomizer has reached the end of its life because you'll start to experience either a slight burn taste, a loss of flavor intensity, or a loss of vapor production. To change your atomizer head, just remove the current atomizer head and then take a new one and repeat the steps from when you initially primed your atomizer. Make sure that the pod is empty of e-liquid when changing this atomizer. So that's all you need to know to get your scope air up and running. But if you have any further queries, then pop into your local Totally Wicked store, contact our customer service team or drop a comment below.